Hi, this is Amanda Hollis, and you're watching Loyal Abroad. This is a show that provides an in-depth look at the student perspective of the study abroad experience. This is the first Loyal program that is being broadcast through live internet chat on Skype. Now we're going to check in with Liz Creed, who is a student in the Rome program. Hi, Liz. Welcome to Loyal Abroad. Uh, first, I'd like to ask you, how did you decide on your study abroad program? How did you decide on Rome? Well, I've always wanted to go to Rome. Um, it's like very centrally located in um, Europe, so thought it'd be really easy to travel and there's so much to do. I've heard from past students that have studied abroad that there's always somewhere to go like during the day and um, the program itself is really good and we're also combined with Catholic. So I wanted to be with like a big group of people and like meet a lot of other people as well. So how is, it's, um, is there homestay and storms at, in Rome or is it just homestay or? Um, well, like? for Loyola students, well, we're a Loyola Catholic combined program. Um, all Loyola students must stay in a homestay. Mm -hmm. So you can either be like by yourself or with a roommate. I'm actually with a roommate um, from Loyola. Her name's Kylie. We live with um, a lady named Nicoletta. She lives by herself. Aww. And we live in the Prati neighborhood in an apartment mm -hmm. um, about 10 minutes away from school. And I absolutely love it. I have my own room, which I'm actually in right now. If you're in cat, if you're through Catholic, you can actually stay in the dorms in the St. John's building where we have our classes, uh -huh. or you can do a homestay. So it's about half and half for Catholic, and all we all soon stay in a homestay, and we're spread all over the city. Okay, and how is that? How is living in a homestay different than being back at Loyola? Well, first of all, my homestay mother does not speak any English, so um, so culture shock. Oh, a little bit. I mean, dinner conversations are kind of funny. Um, we have to take Italian throughout like our stay here. Mm -hmm. So my roommate speaks Spanish. I took a little time before coming here. So we kind of just practice what we learn in class every day. And we watch the news as well. So that's kind of nice. Well, I understand you just came back from a trip over the weekends. Where were you? Tell me about I it. I did. Um, with school, we went to Tuscany. We went to Siena, Pienza, um, Arezzo, and Orvieto. And right before that, we went to Venice for Carnivale with our Italian school. What was your favorite experience during that weekend? Um, well, Carnivale was very cool. Um, it's when everyone dresses up in masks, and it's like a big celebration. So we went, and um, it was really pretty. It was very cold, though. And then also um, in Tuscany, my favorite part was we went wine tasting, um, like right like in like the mountains in a castle. And it was, just, it was really cool. And we got a tour of the castle um, by the family that lived there. And it was really nice. It cooked us a really nice meal as well. So, oh, so it's like the best what's part. your favorite part of the Italian food? It's probably not even close to American food, is it? No, American not Italian. I mean, you could find it, but yeah. um, I mean, definitely like the pizza is amazing. Um, eat pizza. Everyone gets pizza almost every day for lunch. And then for actually dinner with a the homestay, they cook you meals, and you get a first course, which is like pasta, rice, or soup. A second course, which is like some kind of like meat or protein, a vegetable, like salad, something else. And then you get dessert too, which is typically fruit. And then they give you bread as well. So they, cut, they you get a three course meal every night for dinner, well, Monday through Thursday. So that's definitely the best part, getting a nice home cooked meal in someone's house. And they want it, they want you to eat a lot too. So they give you a lot and they make sure that you, they give you things that you like. I was gonna say, have you had any crazy food at all? Like things that you would never eat before? I know some people get octopus sometimes. Right. Um, I don't know about that. It's kind of gross. Our home stay mom asked us originally, like, oh, what do you guys like? And she's been very good, like, giving us things that we do like. But some of my friends here have had, like, octopus, rabbit, um, just some really weird things. <laughs> and I'm really happy that that hasn't happened to me yet. But I'm just it's, I mean, I'll there. try things. I had um, wild boar this weekend in my pasta. It was like. In your like, pasta? Like, like bowling game sauce. So. <laughs> But it was, that's what Tuscany's known for, the wild boar sauce. So that was kind of like my big thing so far. What would you recommend if someone else studied abroad in Rome? Where, where would they go? Um, well, definitely if you hit up any of the major touristy spots, I would go more than once. Because mm -hmm. every time you go, you kind of notice something different. And it's been nice. We've got to see everything in the snow. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely very unique for Rome. Um, Which you had some, just, you said some pictures you had. Right, it's yeah, snowing, well, like crazy, right? 
I mean, you should definitely like the Vatican's absolutely beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. St. Peter's, we can see it from our balcony and um, where we like in our apartment and covered in snow. It's absolutely beautiful. You should definitely go there a few times um, and then do all the typical things like make a wish in the Trevi Fountain, see mm -hmm. the, see the, um, the Coliseum and just go to everything. I like just walking down random little streets and kind of walking through the buildings. And it's, you know, very old school. Like Trastevere is a really nice area. And Villa Borghese is a beautiful park that everyone should go to. It actually snowed a lot last Friday. And they said, oh, you'll just get a flurry. It's, you know, common to flurry twice a year. And we actually got a full on snowstorm mm -hmm. while we were in class. And it, it's, everyone's been saying it's the most snow that Rome has gotten since 1985. Wow. So, so were you prepared for shop, that? They don't own. They don't own shovels. They don't own snow plows. They just let it fall and turn icy, and then the city shuts down. So that was kind of cool. We got to see a big snowstorm in Rome, see all these historical buildings covered in snow. And um, we actually got – our trip got canceled, but they rescheduled it. And the whole – almost all of Italy got blanketed in snow, and they said it was abs it's absolutely amazing. What's the fashion like there? How is it different than here? Um – Everyone's much more covered, I guess. A lot more dark colors. Um, everyone wears big, puffy jackets. Kind of like nobody really brought one, but I probably should have because <laughs> I'd blend in. So everyone has these big, puffy, like, black jackets. So you're going to buy one? <laughs> I thought about it, but I didn't. Um, everyone wears boots, and they all, you know, they're all, every day they're completely dressed for the winter, regardless if it's 50 degrees or 30 degrees. They're all completely dressed dark colors, um, ready for whatever kind of weather comes their way. And they all carry an umbrella, too. They all carry umbrellas? <laughs> yeah. Like, when it snows, it rains, they all pop up with their umbrellas. It's really <laughs> Where else do you want to go when you're abroad? Well, um, I've, planned, I've actually planned most of them already um, with people Good from Loyola. You. We're heading for spring break. We get nine, we get nine or 11 days. We're not on the European schedule. We get a month off. We just get, like, a week. Mm -hmm. So we're going Paris, Dublin, and London. And then um, most of the programs going to um, Belgium to go to Sensation, which is that, like a big concert. And then going to Sicily for Easter, go enjoy some nice beach time in April. And we're also heading to um, Prague as well. Are there so. any special festivals going on that are different that, I mean, um, in Europe? Well, we're going to um, Belgium for Sensation, which is like a big, like kind of techno concert. Okay, so that's very um, European. That actually a lot of other Loyola students are going to um, that are abroad in Europe as well. So we're hoping to meet up with some kids from Belgium and Spain and Paris. So um, that should be fun. That's over the St. Patrick's Day weekend. What about Carni Carnival? Yes. Carnival. What was that? Yeah, what was that like? Um, we went on Friday, uh, no, Saturday, sorry, for the day. And um, it's like everyone, the people there, they get in full-on outfits, they buy masks, and it's a big party in, like, the main square, and they have music, and we went for the parade, we all bought masks, and you, you, know, you just kind of stand there, and it's it's really cool. It's a little scary, though, because so everyone like has masks. So it's like Halloween, kind of? Um, but not? But it's, not, it's not scary like that, it's just, like, you can't see anyone's, like, face from, like, here up, so you don't really know who's walking around, but it's really cool. Everyone's got these big elaborate masks on, some people get them full-on, like, big dresses and like very like capes and everything it's very cool what did you get I, I got a mask I don't have it with me though my friend has it but I have a picture that I actually sent you guys with all of us in masks that you can check out yeah and then you sent some other pictures can you tell us about that yes I can or those pictures from your weekends right well um the one from Carnival it's a bunch of us right after we bought our masks everyone kind of bought a different one some of the feathers one of the boys bought one that looks like a cat. Like, you can kind of do whatever you want. We wanted to blend in. Um, so that was from Carnival. And then I did send ones from Tuscany, where um, one is in front of the castle that we did the wine tasting at. It's called um, Castello di Trevia, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then another picture is me and my friend standing in front of the scenery that it overlooks. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then other ones I sent, one was from the actual wine tasting um, another one was from when I actually visited Florence um, at Pia uh, Piazza Michelangelo. A very beautiful sight of the whole city. And um, other ones are just around Rome. One's like when a bunch of us went out during orientation week. And other one's in um, Villa Borghese, the park near my house. What's your, uh, what's your favorite picture out of all of them um, so far? Or uh, a picture you, you're proud you took? Picture I'm proud that I took. Yes. Um, 
Well, there's one um, that I sent from actually Tuscany also. We were in Arezzo. It's me and probably about like nine other girls from Loyola. And we climbed up this very big icy hill to like this French park. And it actually overlooks all of the city of Arezzo in Tuscany. And we're all kind of far away, but you see there's a city and then there's mountains and there's snow. And it was absolutely beautiful. So Liz, how has the study abroad office helped you during your time in Rome? Have you been in contact with them? Um, yeah, so actually, um, Patrick Frazier, our like Loyola program director, he came with us for orientation, mm -hmm. and he helped us with um, applying for certain. You have to apply for certain like permits to stay here and stuff. So he helped us mm -hmm. with that, and um, with classes too. Not me personally, but other students who have had to add drop classes mm -hmm. within our program here at uh, here in Rome. Um, the office has helped them do that, like through Loyola too. Since I think our add drop dates are a little bit different because we started before we all was back in session. So they're really good with like academic help too. So they've, okay, they've been a great resource academically. Um, right. And yeah, how have the classes been? Have they been, what are they like? What are you taking? Um, they've been good. Um, I'm actually taking Loyola philosophy, so the upper level philosophy and ethics. Okay. They're both taught by Dr. Dale Snow from Loyola. So she's here with her husband and um, they both kind of teach our classes which is nice, and I'm also taking um, liturgical art and architecture, which is my upper level theology with cool. Dr. Dawson, who is our main program director from Catholic, who's here with us. And um, we go out and we tour Rome and we look at churches and we learn about how the architecture shapes like um, liturgical worship. And we also take Italian um, for 12 weeks, Monday through Friday, three hours a day at Italia Dea. Um, near the Spanish steps and it's great we we're in a small class with all your friends and you just it's all in Italian you learn how you learn the language and uh, it's a lot of like schoolwork but it's great like you really get to know everyone and um, it's really it's a great program money wise if you know mm -hmm. financially in Rome um, how are you doing is it easy is it hard is, is it difficult to plan trips right um, well, definitely um, being in a homestay, it's nice because you don't have to buy breakfast or dinner. So that saves a lot of money because um, food can get expensive. So we really only have to buy lunch. And a lot of times you can just go to the supermarket and leave things at your house. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as like planning trips and stuff, um, I just learned to plan early. And you need to keep in mind that everything's in euros and not American dollars. So you really need to make sure that you're realize, realizing you're spending a little bit more than you think when you look at the number mm -hmm. in general. But it hasn't been that bad. Um, there's people that do spend a lot more than others, but it's nice when some of your meals are provided for you because that's kind of what eventually will get expensive. But um, and that's nice. And and the the sale month is good too. So if you do want to buy like clothes or like if you forget things, you should definitely buy it within that first month because you will save a lot of money. Um, well, that's good to know. Yeah, Great. so it's, you know, it's every abroad program is expensive, but I find Rome, it's very easy to manage your money. You just need to kind of be aware of like how much you're spending and kind of keeping track of it. What advice would you give to students who are looking into the Rome program right now? Um, I would definitely just talk to people that have done it. Um, definitely they can give you insights, especially with the homestay experience. I know that's something that kind of worries a lot of students when going abroad and I think at least for me, it's only been a month, but it's really like enriched my experience. I've learned a lot more about the Italian way of life. I've learned about my host mom and her family and what she does. And I, it's you get around the city more. You can explore other neighborhoods by having friends that live throughout the city. So I would definitely just talk to people that have gone. I mean, they'll tell you all the great things and how it is academically and you know socially as well. So. Definitely talk to you. They'll love to talk about it. I love telling people about it. So. Well, it sounds like you're having a great time. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you want to tell Loyola about your um, experience? Well, I would tell everyone looking into studying abroad to definitely do it and uh, look into Rome. I don't know. Great food, great people, and it's absolutely beautiful. So, you know, I would definitely do it. It's worth it. Loyola is great, but I think it's also good to take a semester to study abroad because you can always come back and it's, I don't know, you, I've made so many other friends that I didn't have at Loyola now that I'm abroad. Most of us didn't know each other now. We're actually all very close, so. Oh. Well, it sounds and, awesome. So thank you so much for sharing your experience in Rome. Appreciate oh, it. And continue having a great time. Thank you for viewing this episode of Loyola Abroad. Be sure to view this and other Graycom television programming on campus, Channel 33, and online at graycom.tv. 
I'm Amanda Hollis, and thank you for tuning in, Loyola.